work. All right. Well, that'd be awesome. On your feet. So here we were. They gave us some schmuck lawyer that smelled like cheap cologne and five dollar hookers. At the hearing we made a mockery of the court. We just didn't give a damn. We were found guilty of murder in the first degree and received a free bus ticket to some place up north, St. Lucifer's Correctional Facility. It was a maximum security facility, and the warden was very proud of his prison track record. No escapes. We were going to make him real happy. Come in. I'll just be a second. Take a seat. named Bisa. Jordan didn't like him from the start. He was a little strange, but a nice enough guy, or as nice as they come in St. Lucifer. He was in for a triple homicide and wasn't going to see the other side of the wall for a long time. The only thing that saved him from the chair was the insanity plea. Bisa talked about a lot of different things, but the most interesting thing he ever talked about was the supposed secret kept in the prison archive room. Jordan and I knew that whatever was in that archive room must have been what we were after. Open cell block three. 
You got a visitor, boys. Move it, ladies. You guys got it yet? Not exactly. Not exactly. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Well, we have a good idea of where it is, but it's gonna take some time. A good idea? Good ideas don't get you my kind of money. And I don't have time. You have till Friday. That's two days from now. Nine o'clock, the old service road, eight miles northeast of here. Open cell block three. Rec time, boys. One hour. It's this way. Alright, looks clear. Let's go. Alright, it's gotta be happy somewhere. Through the library, we can gain access to an old service tunnel used to wire the prison. This tunnel has an access hatch that isn't regularly patrolled by guards. It's the weakest link in the security chain. If we can get through this tunnel, we can get out of here. <laughs> 